tricks. You're completely and utterly avoiding the entirety of the thing by sodding off top somewhere. And Pebbles still lurking in the woods, but realistically, there's only so much you can do against someone who's pretty obviously realised that something's up. And he's playing very uh, friendly. However, he's sort of two minutes. Up completely. Oh, However, Pebbles comes in, completely misses the stun combo. Bugger, misses the javelin and he misses everything. Oh, that's, oh dear, Thunderbringer comes right back in here. Pebbles could well go down. He somehow managed to upset the H troops as well, but Andromeda swaps him nicely out of danger here and conveniently puts herself in the firing line instead. However, he's just about getting it out of it. So, great gank from the side, but sadly not quite managing to uh, pull the thing off. However, there was a kill on KD Hanny in the top lane. I don't suppose you caught that by any chance? No, I did not. But yes, I think the general just a bit thin. Oh no, it was actually Fresh Prime talking complete rubbish. Someone went up there to help Gang Hanny. Help Hanny Gang I presume it was about playing that Magmas. And really, well, the inevitable happened to me. One of the big strengths about Madman and Kronos is that actually they can avoid dying because they've got Stalk and Timely respectively to try and escape, but actually if you look at it, Fresh Pro, a couple of deaths, K doesn't, but really, they definitely do need to try and make the absolute most of them, because if they carry on just getting picked off and killed, they're going to be doing exactly what KDE wants, I mean really, I don't like what, actually when I think about it, what Fresh Pro did, just diving that top lane tower to try and pick off how many was. And because there's really no actual pressure on MSI here. As long as they can keep the game going and not have their carries die, they are going to out-carry KD in the late game. So really, there's no reason for Fresh Pro to be playing aggressively for that first death of his. And trying to pick off kills, but we're going to see a gank in from KD now, and I think Glacius is probably going to be our lucky winner. Yes, indeed he is. Stun comes out from Magma, the Witch Slayer comes in with the gank stun. Andromeda puts up the stun, and it is enough. Glacius does go down here, but Pebbles... Oh no, it's going to be Kronos gets completely screwed. Puppet Master comes in with the public show, stun out from Magnus to finish the job. And now Witch Snare is going to go down as well. So there's a triple kill for this KD side. All of them are going to over now. I believe he's playing Pebbles, which is definitely going to be useful for him to have. So every extra bit of fire he gives Pebbles increases that opportunity he has in the middle game to try and really explode onto the scene. And definitely KD drawing ahead again. They've opened up gold for about 2,000, 3,000. XP lead as well, and really, this game is, at, I think, at a very careful tipping point. If MSI aren't careful, if they give KDE the opportunities to gank, and they let them run away with this game, that is exactly what they're going to do, and MSI are going to have their faces pounded repeatedly into the floor. On the other hand, if KDE can't make the most of that opportunity that they've got, if they don't play aggressively enough, or they don't execute well enough, I think definitely MSI are going to be the ones who manage to take the game away in the end. That's certainly my reading of the situation. Pebbles keeps missing a lot of stuns. That he doesn't have a lot of action here around this bottom lane. Just general scrolls and those pebbles missed them. They're not going to have Kronos coming right back in there. Put that out there. Oh dear, action all around. Lots of people going down. Which I think is definitely working out well for the Legion side here. The health one overextending. And I think he's going the price here. He must be going out as well. Yes, yes, he does. There's a smackdown for Fresh Pro, which is obviously incredibly fun. Oh, Magic he does manage to take that tower down, but really. The half on side there just got annihilated piecemeal. They didn't really have it all hang together, and the leaf inside came together very well to completely enough to screw them. I mean, is there anything you thought that the Hellborn did particularly wrong there? Was it just generally being out of position and not quite executing the gank well? <sighs> Pebbles could have just one shot. It. Well, not one shot, but just combos on that. Glacius could have taken him out right away. He missed this stun. That you just can't do that kind of thing. Yep. However, I mean, it's is understandable that it does happen, but you just can't do it. Well, then yeah. I mean, Glacius did pull off his ulti. Did take the Magnus, I think, to about half health. But yeah, I'm actually not sure that this is the normal Pebbles player for MSI. I'm pretty sure. Oh no, it's because it's not MSI, that's why I'm talking complete crap. However, actually, onto Witch there, that is a good combo from Pebbles. Overpower making great use of the Fog of War there and really doing his job, but I mean, definitely, that is one of the things that KD needs to avoid. It's just disastrous team fights that feed money to the Elysian carries, because realistically, if you're playing a ganking strategy, you have to win. A no score draw is not a no score win for you because at the end of the day, being equal means that you have lost. Because if you're on equal footing with the team of carries, you're going to lose. However, well, this is a fantastic game. On to K now, making great use of that toss to allow Magnus to initiate onto this tower. There is going to be a can gank, and really, Kubak is going to be very much in the cold, as I believe is Leventon. There's something spectacular happening. He does make a 
great job of TPing out, and I'm afraid of Ducky there, just a little bit slow with that stun. But there is a kill on Fresh Pro and a kill on Magic, so they're both mutually annihilating. However, since Fresh Pro got his smackdown, I'm sure he'll be entirely happy with the situation, but realistically, I don't know why the hell he's doing it, because I've already stated he doesn't need to. You know, MSI can really just afford to try and sit on their hands, because, you know, they're not trying to go anywhere with this, they just need to keep themselves in the competition until the late game, when their carries can steamroll the living hell out of KDE. And really, Fresh Pro going after that kill on that Valkyrie like that is a bit suspect. However, we're going to see action onto Trixie now. Magma's coming straight in. Pebbles, however, not really able to do very much. And he's going to be caught out by Glaces as well, so that's rather unfortunate. However, they're going to get Thunderbring. It's pretty un It's just quite unlucky, really, that Glaces was around to pick him off. But it wasn't terribly well considered by Pebbles because they knew which way Thunderbring was going. Had they waited, had Pebbles and Thunderbring just run along the ramp, they could very easily have caught him out anyway, Pebbles would have been able to combo as well, and he would, you know, Magmas wouldn't have been left out alone for Ixu to completely and utterly screw. However, going back to Pebbles, Overpower really does need, I think, to think about is trying to get himself a portal key. He doesn't have a huge set of gold, he's got around a thousand, but he somehow found space for a power supply and steam boots, and really, I personally just prefer Pebbles' is who goes straight for that portal key, because it's after the bottle and the marches, because it is such a great item for him. As soon as he's got the capacity to pop up out of thin air and blow someone's face off, it becomes a far more effective ganker and just puts huge amounts of pressure onto the Legion side. But, I mean, what do you think about Pebbles? Uh, we see it quite long in competitive play, not rushing that portal key but going for other items first. Do you think it's a valid tactic or do you think they should just man up and get the flipping portal key? Well, it's, it's it's quite situational. I mean, if you can get the gold for the portal key, then yeah, definitely. You could even, even pick it up as a first item. Just straight up for, go for it, but if, say, you're in their ganking trial lane, like their position there, and you need the extra move speed, or the extra health, or the extra mana, or the extra regeneration, then no, you can't really go straight for it and just wait till mid-game. I mean, Pebbles can still, you know, blow up someone mid-game, especially against this MSI team, I mean, which layer, Glacius, uh, even even Kronos, if he doesn't really get lucky with Rewind. But. Well, that's exactly what I think, you see. What I'm basically saying is that really, once he's got his bottle and his boots, he should be going straight for that portal key, because actually, at the end of the day, you have enough mana, you know, with just those items. Oh dear, Pebbles is going to find Glacius now. He's going to come on him, and Glacius is going to go down like a rather large sack of bricks in a very unsympathetic ocean, but... I mean, really, if Pebbles just didn't have it... Oh dear, the curry is going to get in as well. That's a bit careless from <laughs> MSI, really. So that's a curry loss by both sides now. Obviously not paying quite the micro-attention they need to. That's a little bit unfortunate, though, to be perfectly honest with you. But, I mean, it's just... Oh, there's actually something thing I want to point out, which is that Fresh Pro got himself killed again in the top lane. And really, it just doesn't make any sense for him to be taking the risks. If you're not, you know... You know that Hanny has a lot of the same and also that has to do a lot of first damage. I don't see why you'd stick around to find that out the hard way, you know. Remember, all you have to do is score a nose and win. You don't have to do anything spectacular, you don't have to kill him, you don't have to do anything other than survive to end the game when you can out-carry the living hell out of the poor guy. But, I mean, Hanny's actually... Oh dear, this is going to be horrible, this problem is horribly out of position oh. on the other side there. They did go and chase up and get that kill on Kronos, so it might not be worth it, but realistically, they lost Andromeda and Magnus, and I think about would at some point like to be working towards this portal key, so... I mean, definitely Andromeda is fairly nice and independent, but Magnus doesn't need a certain degree of gold he doesn't currently have. If you look at back, he's really just sitting on 125 gold for a minute, and he's nowhere near a portal key, which isn't where he wants to be. Valkyrie goes back in onto the Thunder Ringer, which he's going to pay a very high price for that, and really... As a semi-carry, again, you need to stop doing stupid stuff. It just doesn't work out, you know. People like Fresh Pro and whoever the hell is playing as Valkyrie Magics need to acknowledge that it is not worth risking being killed to pick up a, to pick up something on someone who isn't as hard a carry as they are. Because put, putting the point very simply, yes, they are gankers. Yes, they need to gank. However, they also need to not die so they can build up a farm advantage and carry in the middle of the late game. And they're really not doing it simply because they keep going off and getting killed. I mean. Am I just being a bit unfair, or do you really think that, as I say, they should be doing this? Mm. Uh, I have absolutely no clue as to this game. So much weird stuff going on. Yeah, and now uh, there's actually a fairly well-executed gank between Magnus and Kronos. 
think that's a lie. <laughs> 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 